Hey everyone, welcome back to another lesson here on the channel. Today we're gonna to be talking about how you can find the perfect customer search terms to advertise under using a low bid automatic campaign. So there's campaigns that I have where individual keywords and search terms have less than 1% ACoS. Now this is something that anyone can learn how to do and you can walk away from this video today knowing how to hunt down those keywords or if you don't have them available yet how to set up the campaign that will collect these keywords for you. So if that sounds like something you'd enjoy watching be sure to stick around till the end. Be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already but without further ado let's get into it. So we're going to move right over into my computer here and you see here we're in Amazon advertising. We are in an automatic campaign here that I've had running for a couple of months now. Um, so we can see the data of this campaign. Looks like we have about a 21% ACoS over the course of this campaign's life. We spent about $400, 442, made about 2000. Um, yeah, yeah, all that good stuff. But anyway, let's get into what we're doing today. So if you haven't set up this campaign already, go ahead and create an automatic campaign. I recommend usually naming it something like this, your, the name of your product, and then dash auto. Um, so you're going to create campaign, create an automatic campaign, and then set your bid to a 30 cent, anywhere from about 20 to 40 cents, honestly, um, just as a standard for all groups. And then go ahead and let that run for a couple of weeks. That'll get you caught up to where we are starting from now. In this case, we have this campaign that's been running for months, so we have tons of data to look at. Um, but you'll not, you will not be able to look at search term reports longer than 65 days anyway. So we'll just get right into it. So if we come into here, right, we could go into total targets. You can go into this ad group here, low bid, um, and we could actually go straight into what I wanted to show you. So of course, there's situations here, right? We could optimize these. You see this one's killing it. Substitutes is doing, you know, it's spent 391, it's made 1600. Uh, it's a majority of the sales for this. What we wanna to navigate to is search terms over here on the left-hand side. So search terms is actually going to show you what customers searched or what products pages they were on when they clicked your automatic ad. So this is really important. Um, this used to be a report that you would have to download, but now it's just here on the column, so it's super convenient. We'll go ahead and click into search terms. This is going to pull up all of our search terms and ASINs that this campaign is bidding on. See, there's tons of ASINs in here. If you're wondering why there's ASINs, that's because automatic campaigns bid on both ASINs and search terms. Um, so if we were to come up top and sort this by ACOS, check this out. We don't just have a few here. We have tons of keywords that have ACoS is less than 1%. So look at this shelving for walls. For instance, we spent 13 cents and we made $50. That's pretty awesome. Uh, return on ad spend there. <laughs> 376 return on ad spend. Um, that one, you know, there's only two impressions. But if we go to something like this, maybe 400 impressions, we've spent 53 cents and we've made almost $50 yet again. Um, all of these have a costs that are under 1%. Only here do we reach 1%. And then finally we go from 1% all the way up to 30% and that's where these stop. So what we would wanna do is we would wanna take all of these ASINs that have super low percent a costs and move them into their own automatic product um, sponsored product ad, right? Not automatic, but a manual sponsored product ad where you can select which ASINs you want to target. Because we know we've gotten sales, highly highly profitable sales from all these ASINs. We would just then move over into campaigns, create a new campaign manually targeting all of those. You'll notice also we have search terms in here. So we have hanging rope shelf, we have plant shelf. Those two have equated very nice ACOSs, very high return on ad spends and very low spend. Now, when you move these over, something to take note of is you'll be able to see the cost per click at which you got the sale in the super low ACOS at. So if you wanted to maintain these ridiculously low ACOSs, you could copy the cost per click. Although you'll notice a lot of the time the impressions will be very low if you do that. Something that would be better to do would be to probably increase these slightly from where their cost per clicks are now. 
and take a little bit of a hit on an A cost. Don't expect 1% A cost, but maybe 5 or 10% A cost with more impressions and uh, more page views for your product. So what I would actually do is I would probably export this, to be honest. It's gonna be a lot easier to copy them. When you get this CSV file, it's actually gonna export it in the same way that it's sorted. Okay, here we go. Um, so we can see the ACOS is still sorted 0.002, right? It's all the way up to our 0.3, which is 30%. So what I would probably do now is open this CSV file in something like Excel or Google Sheets so that I can ma manipulate the data. Um, and I would go ahead and copy all of the ASINs and I would separate out the keywords because those are, of course, are gonna be different manual campaigns. So white macrame wall hanging. Um, is not going to go into an ASIN targeting campaign. So we'd pull all of these keywords that got sales out, boho shelves, hang shelves, hang rope shelf, plant shelf. We pull those all out and put them in their own column. And then what's left will be a big list of ASINs. So you copy all of those ASINs, right? We'll come through here and we'll go all the way up to like maybe 17%. I mean, all of those are profitable, honestly, <laughs> um, but just these super low ones. So say we wanted to grab all those ASINs, right? We could copy those and we could go put those inside of a manual ASIN targeting campaign. So go ahead and build this campaign, build out your automatic low bid campaign, let it run for a couple of weeks. If you're not getting enough impressions or sales, go into your, um, your targeting groups and increase those bids individually. You'll want to optimize those separately. That's going to do it for today's video. Just wanted to show you how you could find a list of extremely profitable ASINs and keywords uh, to target for your products. Keep in mind, use your cost per click as a reference because if you just go and target all these with insanely high bids, of course those A costs will not be the same. These are good starting points, but you probably won't get a whole lot of traffic off of those bids. This is why these A costs are so low is because you spent so little to get them. You could increase these slightly and start from there. That's what I always do with my search term uh, manual campaigns. So hopefully you enjoyed today's video. I mean, this is this is a good one. You'll, you'll definitely be able to take away something from this video and go apply it immediately if you run ads within your Amazon account. Um, so be sure to like it if you enjoyed the video and dislike it if you didn't. But as always, I'll see you here on the channel tomorrow for another video. So be sure to subscribe so that you don't miss it. See you then. Later.